you know the motivation of someone, you know how to pitch someone better, you know? And also before I meet them, I speak to my videographer, I speak to the photographer and I show them the property and we, we, we mastermind ideas and how to pitch the property. So it's telling a seller that, you know, before I met you today, I spent two hours on the phone with my videographer, my marketing person, and we came up with a bunch of ideas how to market your home. It sounds a little bit better than your house is worth this. Yes, yes, love it. So you're doing your due diligence ahead of time. You're you're showing your create you know your creativity ahead of time, uh, which is huge, right? I mean, you definitely want uh, to emphasize the best you know features, tell the story of a home. Talk to me about some of. Uh, some of your creative marketing and some memorable uh, experiences, uh, whether it be high end or luxury or, or even average priced uh, properties or or clients. So two questions here. Again, share with me some some of your unique marketing, some things that you've done that has maybe given you some notoriety, and, and, and maybe you've done on uh, other podcasts. Or as and then the second question is maybe share a memorable client or memorable experience in real estate that that might be humorous that comes to mind. Okay, so the first thing is as far as marketing, it's funny like when if you speak to an agent or a person in marketing, they know that the first few seconds of a video are the most important thing. If you don't get someone to watch the first few seconds, five, ten, fifteen, twenty seconds of a video you're going to lose them and you're not going to get the view. So we all know that. The problem is most people don't do that for written word or audio. So when you write, at least for me, when I market a property, the first sentence, and I, I've, I've, read, I've heard this in a book, the, the, the purpose of the first sentence for any marketing piece is to get the person to read the second sentence. And so headline, when I like market- a Headline in a newspaper. You know, if it's got exactly. a weak headline, they're not going to read the subheadlines. Totally. So when we market a home, when we when we write the remarks for a property, or we're doing audio, a podcast, or or some video, we make sure those first few seconds, those first few sentences are extremely engaging. 